Okay, I've been asked to do this story for a while now. I didn't want to do this story on Usher because I really didn't want to go digging into this man's business and stuff. And I just wanted to remember him as the little cute little boy that he once was and stuff. And, you know, always say when you go digging for stuff, you're going to find it. And I didn't want to find anything about him. And I watched all the things in reference to people talking about him and making their little comments and stuff and being a little freaking. You know, I just didn't really want to get into the whole circus as far as him. But as I see, it's not going away. And I guess as I'm now, I have to read my report. It's on this story. As to you, so you can find out exactly, you know, what's going on as far as me digging and stuff. You know, as far as what's going on. Now, the whole thing now that's going on, I feel as though it's getting a little, a little bit crazy. Two more women and a man sues Usher claiming he gave them herpes after not wanting them that he had std now two more women and a man are planning to sue usher allegedly that the zigger exposed them to herpes without telling them attorney lisa bloom is filing a lawsuit on behalf of monday's california that the three individuals claimed that they had sexual contact with usher after 2012 and that he allegedly did not warn them about his std now, I remember one thing, people, this is allegedly, you know, the bandwagon when it comes down to trying to make money, everybody's going to jump in. Now, the two the two more women and the man are planning to sue Usher, allegedly that the singer exposed them to herpes without telling them. The celebrity attorney, Lisa Bloom, said that she is planning to file a suit in California on Monday and will hold a news conference and correspond to the filing as one of the women is set to appear uh, with her. Now, the other woman and a man involved in the lawsuit will remain anonymous, will appear in the Jane Doe and Jane, I mean, John Doe, as far as the lawsuit. Now, Bloom, whose mother is a high power attorney, Gloria Allred, Allred says that the three people claimed that they had a sexual contact with the Grammy Award winner, singer, in 2012. They claim that the 38 year old Usher who real name is Usher Raymond, did not warn them that he allegedly had STD. Now, the latest lawsuit against the No Limit singer comes as a woman in Atlanta claims that last month that he did not tell her that he had STD prior to having unprotected sex. Now, last month, I don't know, I thought he was married, but it is what it is. The woman initially filed a $10 million lawsuit against him, but raised it to $20 million after she allegedly found out he tested positive as far as STD. T D. The singer accuser who filed under the name of Jane Doe is suing the entertainer in a connection with the Dr. Bill's damages and emotional distress. According to the court documents, she said that she tests she had tests done after learning through the news that Usher had told a court that he had herpes in 2012. The lawsuit he subsequently settled for $1.1 million in a woman initial suit, according to the outlet. She told the court that she had sex with him twice with the father of two. In the first encounter at the woman's Atlanta resident in April the 16th, she said that she performed oral sex on the singer and they later had intercourse with a, with a condom. The, their second encounter where unprotected sex took place in the hotels on April 28th in New Orleans where the performer was performed to take place in the City Jazz and Heritage Festival. The legal documents in the first scan initially published on Radar Online. Usher said that he initially learned that he had herpes back in 2009 or through 2010. The woman said that Usher said that he was not affected with herpes despite a greenest discharge coming from genitalia. <sighs> I mean, come on now. Something green coming out, you, you know what? Lena did this continue that, leading her continue to have sex with him. 
He was eventually diagnosed with herpes, experiencing symptoms including by vaginal sores, fevers, and chills. Around 2011 2012, according to legal documents, Usher paid approximately $2,754 in medical bills, with the doctors telling the women that the, perform, the performer had herpes. The Love in the Club singer celebrates his two-year anniversary with his wife as far as Grace Miguel in September. You know, I, I, I don't get it. I mean, this is crazy to me. It's not that you didn't have any lights on. You see something green coming out of somebody's genitalia you or green around his dick or his balls, whatever the case may be. You say, well, you know what? This is Usher. Why would he have a disease? He's a star. Stars don't get diseases. Only people who are not stars get diseases. He's not from this planet. There's some green stuff coming out of his penis. And he says, girl, that's just vegetable juice. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> what time is it? Okay, it's 1.53 in the morning. Okay, it's time. <laughs> I can't. I did not want to do this video because I always feel like this. If you go digging, you're going to find something. And clearly, <laughs> I didn't want to dig in this man's pants. I just want to know Usher as Usher. I saw the little memes and little sidekicks and all the stuff. And I stayed away from this this subject, and it, when a friend of mine said, like, Raven, why you haven't done Usher? Everybody's talking about Usher's herpes. Because <laughs> the reason why I didn't want to do it, to be honest, and be really honest and serious for a second, as I'm holding my head, because my eyes are closed, because I'm basically about to fall on the floor, because I'm about to fall asleep, I really don't agree with putting his medical records out here, but in the next breath, I have to say, if somebody I was sleeping with had a disease and I didn't know it and I happen to hear everybody's talking about it and it's like a whirlwind, I would want to know, you know. So it's like a damn if you do, damn if you don't. Now when it comes across to the LGBT as far as a man of mess to put it stuff in, it's like, okay. Now I got to do a story because it's a man. This is where it gets juicy. Because, you know, he always likes taking his pants down and showing his people again. You know, it is what it is. But I'm not saying this is allegedly, you know, I don't know how this is going to go. But, you know, it is what it is. And, you know, Usher, let it burn. Anyway, Ben, so I'll hear you back on this. And I'll let y'all love you. I want to thank you for watching. Kiss the Reef.